uh, dark matter, matter having to do something with the extinction events, the extinction of the dinosaurs, um, which is kind of a fascinating presentation of how everything is connected. So I guess the disturbances from the dark matter, uh, they create gravitational disturbances in the Oort cloud at the edge of our solar system, and then that increases the rate of asteroids hitting Earth. So I want to be really clear. This was a speculative theory. Mm -hmm. I um, love it, though. <laughs> I mean, and I liked it, too. And, um, and we still don't know for sure, but we can, what we liked about it, so let me take a step back. So we usually assume that dark matter is what we being physicists, that it's just one thing. It's just basically non-interacting, in, aside from gravity, or very weakly interacting matter. Um, but again, we have to get outside this mindset of just humans and ask, what else could be there? And so what we suggested is that there's a fraction of dark matter, not all the dark matter, but some of the dark matter, maybe it has interactions of its own. Just the same way in, in our universe, we have lots of different types of matter. We have nuclei, we have electrons, we have muons, we, we have forces. Um, we have lots of, it's, it's not a simple model, the standard model, but, but it does have some basic ingredients. So maybe dark matter also has some interesting um, structure to it. So maybe there's some small fraction. And the interesting thing is that if some of the dark matter does radiate, and you know, I like to call it dark light because it's light that we don't see, but dark matter would see, it could radiate that and then it could perhaps collapse into a disk the same way ordinary matter collapsed in the mix, into the Milky Way disk. So it's not all the dark matter, it's a fraction. But it could conceivably be a very thin disk of dark matter, a thin, dense disk of dark matter. And so then the question is, do these exist? And people have done studies now to think about whether they can find them. I mean, it's an interesting target. It's something you can measure. By measuring the positions and velocities of stars, you can find out what the structure of the, of the Milky Way is. Um, but the fun proposal was that the solar system orbits around the galaxy. And as it does so, it goes a little bit up and down, kind of like horses on a carousel. And the suggestion was every time it goes through, you have an enhanced probability that you would dislodge something from the edge of the solar system mm -hmm. in something called the Oort cloud. So the idea was that at those times, you're more likely to have these cataclysmic events, such as the amazing one that actually caused the last extinction that we know of for sure. It wasn't so amazing for the dinosaurs. Or for two thirds of the species on the planet. Yeah, it's, but it gets it's, amazing for humans, it wouldn't be. What, what really is amazing, I mean, I, I do, I mean, I talk about this in Dark Matter and the Dinosaurs. I, it's just an amazing scientific story because it really is one of the real stories that combine together different fields of science. Geologists at the time or, you know, people thought that things happened slowly and this would be a cataclysmic event. And also, I have to say, you know, if you if you think about it, it sounds like a story like a five-year-old would make up. Mm -hmm. Maybe the dinosaurs were killed by some big mm -hmm. rock that came yeah. and hit the earth. But then there really was a scientific story behind it. And that's also why I like the dark disk because there's a scientific story behind it. So as far-fetched as it might sound, you could actually go and look for the experimental consequences or the observational consequences to test whether it's true. I wish you could know like high resolution details of where that asteroid came from, like where in the Oort cloud, why it happened, is it in fact because of dark matter? It's like the full tracing back to the origin of the universe. Because it humans seem to be somewhat special. But it just it seems like so many fascinating events at all scales at all scales of physics had to happen for So to I'm really, from. really glad you mentioned that because actually that was one of the main points of my book, Dark Matter and the Dinosaurs. One of the reasons I wrote it was because I really think we are abusing the planet. We're changing the planet way too quickly. And just like anything else, when you alter things, it's good to think about the history of what it took to get here. And, it, and as you point out, it took many operations on many different scales. You know, we had to have the formation of, of structure, the formation of galaxies, the formation of the solar system, the formation of our planet, the formation of humans. I mean, there's so many steps that go into this. And humans, in some part, were the result of the fact that this big object hit the Earth, made the dinosaurs go extinct, and mammals developed. I mean, it is an incredible story. And <laughs> yes, something else might come of it, but it won't be us if we mess with it too much. But it is, on a grand scale, Earth is a... Uh pretty resilient system. 